In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert from rectangular form to polar form. And this is very easy to do with this calculator. So, we're going to start by looking at how to convert rectangular to polar form. So, when you're in rectangular form, this is x plus i y, and we're converting it to r and theta. So that's some radial ordinate r at an angle theta. And this is the notation that the calculator uses. The outputs of these functions will be x and y or r and theta. And that's how you read it. And just a little bit of theory, this is what the calculator is doing when it's making this conversion. It's finding r by finding the square root of x squared plus y squared. This is just Pythagoras. And it's getting theta Again, simple triangle relationships, which is the inverse tan of y over x. This is all the calculator is doing, but it's more convenient to use the calculator to do it than, as opposed to doing it in these steps. It's just more efficient. So, how do you do this on the calculator? So, rectangular form to polar form. Well, there's a function pol for polar. It's very simple to use. You just press shift and then pol which is on the plus and then you need to put in here x comma y there's a comma button on the calculator so put in x the example that we're going to do is 3 plus 4 i so x is 3 and y is 4 so put in 3 and then we'll put comma that's shift and then this closed brackets button and then we want 4 for y just comparing this 3 plus 4 i to the form up the top of x plus i y. And so we've got pol 3 4 and then press equals and that gives us r is 5 and the angle theta of 53.13 degrees which is what we expect. To do it the other way it's also very simple. So move this down to here. So we're going from polar form to rectangular so the theory is just x equals r cos theta and y equals r sine theta. To do this in the calculator, using the rect button, which is on the minus. So press shift and then minus, we get rec. And then we put r comma theta. And we'll just do the same thing again. So we'll put in 5, shift, and then the close brackets to get the comma then we'll put in 53.13 this function works in degrees because I've got the calculator is set in degrees so let's press equals and we get x is 3 um, and y is essentially 4 and that's exactly what we had before. You can access a similar function in the complex menu, so just going mode, then two to get you into complex. So you could put in three plus four shift, and then the eng key gets you the i, and then if you press shift two, you get into the complex mode, and then if you were to press three, this is three plus four i, two r, an angle of theta and pressing equals gives you the same thing but in a slightly nicer notation. So you can do it that way if you prefer but the pole and rect functions are more efficient. So there you have it, that's how you do these simple conversions. Saves a lot of time if you do it this way and uh, thank you for watching.